What's going on Port fans? Thank you very much for tuning in to the Pair YouTube channel. Today we'll be previewing Port Adelaide's Round 12 Clash against the Tigers in what's going to be a big, big game for the club this Friday night. So let's dive in and have a look and see exactly what this game is going to be. Before we dive into this preview, I'd like to take this time to make a special mention to the Fight MND cause that's happening this weekend for Neil Danaher, the big freeze four that happens between Melbourne and Collingwood before the match on Monday afternoon. I'm representing the special fight for MND Beanie, so if you'd like to get involved and donate today, fightmnd.com.au, the link is in the comments section below that I'll post. Uh, a special cause that I'm uh, jumping on board and supporting with the beanie. So if you'd like to help donate, uh, get to the website and uh, support Neil Danaher and the whole footy community is getting behind him this weekend and it'll be starting off uh, with me wearing the beanie. So I know it looks kind of... Um, well, beanies don't really suit me, but nonetheless, it's a great cause and uh, for a special footy mate that is in this world with us uh, supporting a great cause, I uh, wouldn't... Wouldn't hesitate to get behind, so jump on board and donate below. All right, this preview is a big one for Port Adelaide. It's going to be a massive clash Friday night footy. We've come off a, a heartbreaking loss as such against Hawthorne, but you know what, Port fans? It's a brand new week, and now it's time to get back to business. We have to win this weekend against the Tigers. Friday night footy, we're back at the Portress. It's a must-win game, and it all starts with us. Every game, I reckon, this year, bar one, I reckon, against the Eagles, where we've just outplayed considerably, we've lost on our own merit. Whether it's been poor structure with game plan, poor mindset uh, on the weekend was just horrible skills. All of these three factors that seem to reoccur need to be fixed this weekend against the reigning premiers who are in red hot form after decimating Essendon last week. Um, I, I think it was Saturday, yeah, dream time at the G match. So uh, it's a must win, season defining. I've cl uh, classified this one as because I think. After, um, whatever, so I think every game this year has really been a must win for us. I don't know, it's just felt like we've been on edge every single game. And now we're hitting round 12. We're 6-4, and four. we're sitting in the 8, surprisingly. Thank you, Adelaide, by the way. Um, I just feel that now this game is the biggest of them all. It's the biggest game that we need to win this year. You know, we bet Fremantle round one. We bet the, it was a huge clash against Sydney in round two, which we did. We won that game. Round three against Brisbane wasn't really a must win, um, but, you know, a game's a game, and you must win four points. And then Essendon, Geelong, as I'm going through the whole fixture here, but those two games were probably, for me, a must win for, the, um, you know, off of last year, beating teams that we didn't. Round six against North, we won. We bounced back after a couple of bad weeks. Round seven was our arguably our worst game of the year against West Coast. Won the showdown, which, you know, was a miracle. And then in China, we won. And then coming into last weekend, you know, we always we thought, okay, Hawthorne, we've had their uh, merit over the last couple of years. And we come out like that, three-point losers after starting so well. You know, watching that first quarter and seeing us just play so freely and so dominantly, coming from half-back to half-forward, so many set plays, it was awesome to watch. And the game just changed from one quarter. It was insane. To see, it's actually mind blowing. That's how you watching Port Adelaide is mind blowing. Not because of how good they are or how well they play. It's because it's just a matter of emotions all hitting you at once. And it's going to be the same this weekend. No doubt, it will be some frustration playing Richmond. It always is watching Port. But you know what? That's why we support the club because we go through the highs and go through the lows. And I don't want to see any excuses this weekend. Get to the game. Although it is um, a very good chance of raining, so. Go, but take a poncho, just so you don't get wet. Because no matter what, we're six and four, and we're still in the eight. We're only a game out of the two games out of the top four. We have a game in hand. People seem to forget that we have a buy. Uh, the other teams have a buy. We've had our buy, so we have a game in hand, and we're sitting in the eight still. But I just want to speak about Richmond for a sec. They're in superb form. They had a little road bump against West Coast, West Coast a couple of weeks ago, and now. They've hit some form. They smashed Essendon on the weekend. They bet um, a depleted St. Kilda side. Um, or bar all, that was not the best game to watch. But nonetheless, they're now coming to Adelaide. They haven't travelled too well outside of the MCG. This is a big game. They like bet us here last year. just want to um, take a little stat for you. So every time we've played Richmond at the Adelaide Oval, since 2014, right? So we played them in the final um, in 2014, the elimination final. 
We bet them. All right, 2015 was Kane Corns' uh, farewell game. We lost. So win lose. 2016 it was that rainy night, Friday night footy. We won. Last year, coming into that big game again, I think it rained, I'm not too sure. But it was a very horrible game to watch from us as a point of view. We lost. Win, lose, win, lose. Do you see a trend, Port fans? I know. I don't believe in superstitions and all that. Oh, well, you know, sometimes I do. But for me, that just gives me a little bit of comfort. Any sort of edge to get over Richmond, and that's a start. That sort of stat really helps me, you know, get excited for the week. Because it's like, oh, yeah, win, lose, win, lose. Surely the next one's a win. I feel um, this week with the weather forecast, it's supposed to rain on Friday. I'm not sure about the night. Um, 17 degrees, I'm pretty sure as well. So it's going to be cold, wet, and that might affect how both teams play. I haven't really seen Richmond play too much in the wet. I've seen us play a couple of times in the wet, and it's um, it's nothing to brag about. But anything goes. All you know, previous statistics and all that, previous form goes out the book. What a better opportunity than at home, wet weather, to prove a point that we are ready for this game. Contested footy is a big one um, for the wet weather then. Uh, we're ranked 10th in the league for contested footy. Um, Richmond are 8th. So pretty even going into this game. Um, you know, And we must must capitalise on our opportunities this week. Big game on a Friday night. You don't want to disappoint. We've had so many disappointing Friday nights over the last few weeks with Carlton playing all the time. But that's not the point. we got a chance now to prove to the whole of Australia in front of a... Um, national audience, we, we're we here. We're, we're still going to play a part in this year. No matter how people do, um, say how good we're going, this and that. It's not the point. This is a big opportunity for us, and we must bounce back. Friday night footy. Pinpointed some stats as well that will play a big part in wet weather, um, contested footy. So, as I said, Richmond are 8th and Porter 10th for contested footy. Inside 50, so... Um, Having the ball in your area this week is going to be crucial. Porter 8th, so not bad. Richmond are 2nd, so they're really high up there for having inside 50s and that continual pressure, which we were good at last year. Continual entries inside 50, keeping that pressure and the ball in your front half. And the other one I wanted to pinpoint, which will be another crucial thing this weekend, um, is clearances. Getting your um, distance Getting, making sure you continually have the ball and getting that edge into your forward line. That inside 50 count. Clearance is Porter first in the league compared to Richmond, who are 17th. Big stat, that one. we got to capitalize on that stat and really make sure that we um, keep the ball in our front half and give our forwards as much opportunity as possible. Players like Robbie Gray, players like Chad Wingard, who must stand up this week. He's been driven into the ground, got hammered by everyone, including fans. And rightly deserved. He's had a shocker of a year. And I, even me, in my review like a couple of days ago, said so myself. He hasn't had the best year. But now, it's time to prove yourself, Chad. What a better way Friday Night Footy to star and get yourself back into form. All right. Let's have a look at the changes that I wanted to bring up this week. Obviously, there will be changes. Not too many because not many injuries. You know, we weren't that bad last week. Just some skills. So I feel um, Houston, he hasn't had the best start to the year. Um, Kenny Hinckley's come out and said Wingard and Dixon won't be dropped uh, I don't think it was Kenny but uh, one of the coaches said so um, they won't be dropped so I reckon Houston and Need will be out so Need hasn't had much of an impact since the showdown um, and I reckon Don Barry who had a fantastic game in the SNFL last weekend uh, will come in for a bit of pace a bit of um, left foot uh, silkiness and the other one who deserves a go after a great six weeks of form in the SNFL Jack Trangove he has to get his opportunity this week. What a perfect way. He's a contested play. He really gets the ball moving. And he's very, very clean in the middle. So, big opportunity for him. And I reckon he'll get a go. Obviously, I filmed this before the teams have been announced. So, the changes will be different to what I'm going to say. Although, they might be the same. So, what a great prediction I've had. And speaking of predictions as well. Moving on to what I think will happen this week. I feel... A bit of biasness here. Obviously, it's a Port channel. I'm a Port person, so you've got to say Port Adelaide going to win. I'm a bit hesitant hesitant to say that. Obviously, you know, it's Richmond, reigning premiers, Friday night footy. Um, they're travelling. I feel like we always bounce back really well against 
uh, good teams. And our record against top eight teams has actually been pretty good this year. In saying that, Port Adelaide will win by two goals. Uh, very tight contest. Don't know about how high scoring it will be, how the weather will play out. Might not even rain. And BOG, I reckon Ollie Wines. All this contract talk and all that is going to be on his mind. I reckon it's time for him to shine. Big stage. The next captain of Port Adelaide. He's staying, by the way. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, I can feel it in my port bones that he'll be at Port Adelaide in the future. And he's going to play a big part on Friday night. So let's hopefully the boys get the job done in what's going to be an awesome clash. So be there. All right, Port fans, that wraps up this preview for round 12. Port Adelaide versus Richmond, Friday night footy at Adelaide Oval, 7.20 p.m. Make sure you are there supporting the boys. It is a big game, and if we turn up, I'm sure they'll turn up. They always bounce back really well against a loss, uh, like last week. So let's get behind them and really make sure we beat those Richmond Tigers and show this national stage that we are going to have a big part in 2018 still. Don't forget to support the MND, fightmnd.com.au to donate. Uh, get behind Neil Danaher and the whole footy community who's supporting what is a fantastic cause. Also, don't forget, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for plenty more Port Adelaide content. The Portress Podcast, 8pm every Wednesday night. Make sure you tune in for that. Our latest podcast is out, so make sure you go check that out. Ready for this weekend's game. And also, people on Spreaker, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I really appreciate the support on there. And if you can't watch me and you don't know about Spreaker... Uh, you can listen to me as well with the Pair Podcast. So the link is in the description below. Once again, thank you very much for tuning in, Port fans. I really appreciate the support as of late. It's round 12. Get to the game this weekend. Thanks for watching. My name is Anthony. And obviously, can the Pair.